Добрый день. Сегодня мы поговорим о проекте Транскаспийский Wolf. Today we will discuss the Transcaspian Fiber Optic Line project. This project was initially approved for implementation in 2019 but experienced certain delays due to both objective and subjective reasons. Why is it being revived now? Firstly, the geopolitical situation has changed significantly. Consequently, the communication channels that run through the world's oceans are exposed to certain risks. For example, it is now widely known that several fiber optic channels run through the Persian Gulf, and some have already been disrupted. Several factors contributed to the delay in implementing the Transcaspian FOL, but now the project is gaining momentum. What is driving this acceleration? Firstly, it will be carried out within the framework of the middle corridor of the Silk Road. This requires certain digital support to expedite processes related to transit and document processing. This is one aspect. Another aspect is that the middle corridor serves as an alternative to the logistics and communications that previously went through Russia. This creates a need to secure our countries or have additional reserve capacities for internet traffic. Thus, from the perspective of information security, we are reducing risks and threats to our countries. Why was there a delay? Experts and I believe that Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan previously lacked the capability to independently lay these lines through large bodies of water, approximately 300 to 400 kilometers. Considering this, everything got delayed. However, given that this project requires significant investments, around $100 million, with $50 million from both Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan, financial conditions also played a role. Overall, we have now reached this decision. The primary marine part of the project is planned to be implemented in 2025. The project itself is expected to be fully operational by 2026. It is important to note that this project is part of other traffic networks passing through our countries. For instance, the TASM traffic or projects in Kazakhstan that run from China to Russia. There are also projects that go through Afghanistan. Consequently, a certain conglomerate, a network of various traffic routes, is being created. For example, a large data center will be established in Kazakhstan to accumulate these channels. Given the current emphasis on the middle corridor, it must be accompanied by robust information and communication support. From this perspective, the project is being revitalized. I believe that with three years left until 2026, this project will be implemented and launched. Consequently, our countries will gain certain dividends from its implementation. Primarily, international trade relies on speed, speed of goods delivery, requiring fast logistics and customs documentation processing. This will enable us to achieve the goals set by our states. The more such projects there are, the faster mutual trade will grow, and consequently, the more dividends will be received. I think the most challenging part is the marine section, which is expected to be completed by 2025. Спасибо.